Today I'm going to make the chemical aniline hydrochloride, which I plan to use later to synthesize chlorinyl. Chlorinyl can then be condensed with more aniline to yield the synthetic organic pigment dioxane violet, which has been on my radar for a while now. This specific process is fairly easy, and all you really have to do is react molar equivalents of aniline and hydrochloric acid and boil the resulting solution to dryness. To get started, I went ahead and added 18 grams of aniline to a beaker, which represents 0.1933 moles. I then added 22 milliliters of 10 molar hydrochloric acid to an addition funnel and began to add it to the aniline very slowly and under constant stirring. This represents a slight excess of hydrochloric acid, which is done intentionally because any excess hydrochloric acid will simply boil away while any excess aniline would contaminate the final product and be very difficult to remove. As the hydrochloric acid is added, a fair amount of vapor is produced which is essentially just acid and aniline reacting in the gaseous phase. And this is really similar to the way vapor is produced when neutralizing ammonia with an acid. With that said, the mechanism for this reaction is essentially just a simple acid-base reaction between the hydrochloric acid and the simple aromatic amine. And as you can also see, there is a distinct color change that results as the acid is added. But I honestly can't say whether that's typical, as my aniline was a bit oxidized and therefore not entirely pure. Once all the hydrochloric acid has been added, I moved my beaker to a hot plate and slowly boiled away as much water as I could until the aniline hydrochloride began to crystallize. Along the way, the solution turned a deep violet color, which eventually degraded as more water evaporated. I suspect this is somehow related to the dioxane violet I want to make, although I have no idea how. Anyway, once all the water had been basically completely boiled away, the beaker was removed from the hot plate and the aniline hydrochloride allowed to crystallize before being transferred to another dish. I somehow lost this footage as I filmed this a fairly long time ago, but it wasn't really very interesting anyway. At this point, the aniline hydrochloride is further dried under a full vacuum for several hours and this is done because drying to completion using heat alone would result in a heavy loss of product to sublimation. Once the product was now completely dry, I weighed it and got a final mass of 24.53 grams, which represents a 98% yield. Now, I haven't been able to find much regarding the synthesis of this compound, so I don't really know what the yield should look like, but given the simplicity of the reaction, it should be pretty high like this. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, or at least found it interesting, and as always, I want to thank all my incredible patrons for their generous contributions. Your support is vital and very, very appreciated. And to everyone else, if you'd like to see more content like this, consider subscribing on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, or even by becoming a patron yourself. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Also, as a quick note, I recorded this video on my girlfriend's really fancy microphone to see if it's worth me buying one. Uh, leave a comment, let me know what you think about the quality of this microphone compared to my regular one, and um, if it's unanimous, I'll go ahead and buy it.